You're now tuned in to the yeah. number one podcast. I give you a new wave shop talk, shop talk, shop talk. New wave shop talk, new wave, new wave. Got something on your mind? Let's talk about it. Shop talk, shop talk. Leave a comment, we'll talk about it. New wave, new wave. For real. Talk about these white women. You know what I'm saying? And these rappers taking up all the good acting jobs. All these them acting gigs. So all y'all directors, holla at your boy. You're now tuned in to the number one podcast. <laughs> Oh, shit. oh, we had to set the mood, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's good, yeah. man. Bring that energy up, goddammit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, we just gonna get this motherfucker started, man. <laughs> hey, check this out, man. This is New Wave Shop Talk, man. Episode 61. You know what I'm saying? I am the host, Dina Boy Juice. And to my left, we got... SD Pasadena Sean. It's all the same. And to my far right, we got... Your boy Flossy B in the building, man. Yes, yes. And to my right, we got Swaggy D is in the building. Swaggy D. You know what I'm saying? So how everybody doing? Since uh Flossy here, it's the first time over here, man. How you doing, man? Oh, oh, it's well, brothers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, just blessed. You right. Know, glad I was able to come out and support it, you know, promote the show. And for sure, sure man. It's always a blast being around, you know, my day one doing what we do, man. So, that's what I'm gonna play. Stand up. For sure, man. This is, this is the, um, what's today, the second? Mm-hmm. Right? So, today is the second, right? Of February, man. So, what we're gonna do every episode this month, man, is we're gonna give it up to uh, black entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? So, since Swaggy, I mean, not Swaggy, but since Flossie is here, we're going to put your foot up and let everybody know, you know what I'm saying, what you got on, man, yeah, for the man. camera, man. You got to put it up a little higher, man. Oh, you can't it see is, it. it is, yeah, you feel it is, me? Man. Where is that from, oh, brother? Son, the boy, man. This is the boy, man. Uh, Saya, Saya Collective, man. He's a black uh, shoe designer, a black designer. He, he designs uh, shoes, clothing, and um, he has these particular uh, phone trainers. Uh, very comfortable, man. Boy, it's awesome, man. He's awesome as far as with his design. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I follow him on Instagram. Decidecollective.com is his website, man. Uh, you know, check him out, man. Let's try to, you know, support some more of these black designers. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, starting this new year, you know, versus trying to you know, keep up with the Joneses. Mm-hmm. Uh, and all these Gucci and Louis and, mm-hmm. and all this and that, man. Let's support black business. Uh, there's a lot of black designers out here, man, that, you know, upper echelon and we don't know nothing about so we're just trying to tap in do your homework and let's support the black man you know yeah. go ahead and see people our, out yeah you know spend right. our black dollars with you know black entrepreneurs especially yeah. since we take most of the uh commerce you know yeah. what i'm saying we spending most of the money on shit yeah. we are the you know what i'm saying so right. you know without us these niggas wouldn't be making no money exactly you know what i'm right. saying and that's the problem man we mm-hmm. gotta you know that's the only way we're going to make it as a whole to start supporting us more mm-hmm. uh, versus trying to keep up with, with everybody else. Yes, yes. Swaggy D, man, how you doing over there, man? Oh, man, I'm doing great, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing great. You guys Lift that mic up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Let that motherfucker point it down. Yes, sir, I'm doing great. I mean, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Great day. We out here. We got, we got a new spot. New way to the shop. Keeping it going. Mm-hmm. Giving out these fresh haircuts, so. Man, brought all the, brought the crew with me. We got the fellas here with me. We all made it. We're going we gonna, to we gonna do it big. So, you know what I mean? And I'm thankful for everybody that, you know what I mean, supporting us through this transition. No doubt. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pasadena Sean. How you got What you doing today, man? Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm doing good, man. Yeah, I'm going to be up this morning, man. I got axiomatic. I heard facts. I'm out. I see the HBCU. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Black so, colleges, cross colors, man. You know what I'm saying? Bring it back. Oh, man. man, the question is, how you doing? Oh man, doing terrific. You know what I'm saying? Actually, today was like a, a slow day. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, blessings come in crazy places. You feel me? I heard that. 
Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Got blessed today. I took off the rest of the day like he has been looking. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. And, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, that's what it is, man. You know, it's Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, man, we're just going to jump in because uh, yesterday was uh, Tyree Nichols. That was his funeral yesterday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not in order, but Don't yeah, worry about that's what we're going to do right now because uh, I'm thinking about the beginning of the month. You know what I'm saying? What y'all feel about the funeral? Did anybody even tap in, look at a, a clip or anything like I that? Did. I, I didn't. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. I mm -hmm. think that, you know, whatever the family decided to do under the circumstances, you know, is all right with me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was sad enough to see how he passed. So. Right. I don't want to see him again. You know, it's crazy. You know, that could have been one of our sons. That could have been one of our nephews. That could have been, could one, been of one of our friends. One of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you no. know, at the end of the day, you know, I seen what I seen, and hopefully justice prevails. No matter how old you get, man, you know, if you're dealing with a new woman in your life, she always had an ex. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I seen a post today that said, man, women always want you to come over when they got an ex like Lamar ass. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that cop was like Lamar, nigga. Yeah, like, exactly. oh, nigga, you fucking with my old bitch? You know what I'm exactly. saying? Got kids yeah. and shit. Then let yeah. that bitch go. Yeah, yeah, man. Got to, man. Some niggas can't, you know, let nothing go. Yeah. You so, see so, anything about it? Well, you know, the only thing that bothers me about the whole situation is that, uh, because it was African American cops, you know what I mean. I saw Swift Justice, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. But when there's when there's white cops involved, you know what I mean. It, it, it takes it takes a million years to get them prosecuted. But since it was black officers, they got prosecuted quick, and fast, in well, a hurry. They got arrested. They didn't get prosecuted. You still got to do the due diligence of right. going to court and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. Yeah. But they got arrested quick though. Yeah, I get you. So you like no boy in uh, Minnesota, it took them a while to so arrest him. Took them a while to arrest him. Shit. Yeah. Him. Probably he's still getting paid. Still the, working. The, the two officers in Minnesota, because there was one, uh, there was another one that happened in Minnesota. No, in Milwaukee. I'm sorry. Okay. You know him too, and he didn't get prosecuted. You know, so you, you have to really look at it for what it is. You know. So y'all don't think that it had nothing to do with them having a new mayor? And a new, new police chief, chief. Yeah. that's saying like, nigga, we ain't gonna tolerate no yeah. police brutality, Definitely. nothing like that. If they would have stood behind that, it would it would have dictated their regime and what they was about. Mm -hmm. They had to show that you know zero tolerance against the team that they was fucking with because man, it was ugly. Yeah, you right. for the new police chief? Uh, you know what? I don't think it's a new police chief. I think that's the no, same she's a new police chief. She is? Yeah, she's okay. A police chief. Yeah. So that's why that's on. that's not her regime. That's right. why she disbanded the unit. No, okay. Yeah, yeah the yeah. sport yeah. union. They got her on the spot and she's on every network and talking and interviewing everybody. Yeah. yeah. She's like, God damn, they don't do like that. Yeah. What do you feel about the funeral? She gotta be critical of what she say right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Well versed. Yeah. I didn't really get to see, see the funeral. I saw like little little glimpses of it of Al Sharpton and mm -hmm. talking. What he was talking. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, uh, Kamala Harris, she was there. Uh, and Al Sharpton said, you know what I mean? He was like, he said, he was like, the thing that killed me about it when he yelled out for his mom. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, that right there. I mean, that yeah, he was innocent. Yeah, that's like innocent. Floyd. Floyd. Yeah. And he was, what, 80 feet from his house? Yeah. He knew he was she gonna die. Eyes, he yeah. knew he was gonna die. Man. He knew he was gonna Whenever die. Whenever somebody yeah. say mama, I always know it's over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. George Ford, for his mom also. How many times have you heard that? Shit, a few times. Yeah. Somebody's passing. Yeah. Every time. Every time. Every time. Exactly. That's why when you said, oh, Tom Sharp, and I was like, yeah. It seemed like a photo outburst versus real. It seemed like a movie. Yeah, it just seemed. You know what I'm saying? It just seemed like was Jesse Jackson, Jackson there. It seemed like individuals taking advantage of our. Was Jesse Jackson there? I can't recall. Jesse's only seen to be there when your mama back. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I want the bitches. You know what I'm saying? I want a rainbow coalition of bitches. 
Yeah. How about that? Got that <laughs> hey, that's what Jesse told me. Hey, that's what Jesse Kelly told the world, low key. I want a Rainbow Coalition of bitches. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if you notice in the Rainbow Coalition, it wasn't no niggas, it was him, his brother, and the rest was bitches. <laughs> <laughs> On the real. But yeah, uh, well, CB, I feel like that too, man. I feel like, like it was just over the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you got a choir with like 60 motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Now, the preacher, he did a good job because that was his home church. It was in his city. You know what I'm saying? Right. He did a great job. But right. everybody else that came up and spoke, he was like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? You don't know this dude. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, when I go to a funeral, I like to hear from people that actually know the person. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You taking these pictures exactly. and, and, and videos that he's done made and trying to turn this person into something that we don't know what he was. Right. You know what I'm saying? He right. looked like a happy dude. Right. He liked to skate. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, I get that too. He was probably, you know, an upstanding gentleman. But this is not going against uh, anything about the funeral. It's just going against the people. Like you said, looking for photo ops, looking for publicity. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just It was just too much for me. Like, we know people that passed away that had a lot of friends. Right. And it wasn't that many people. It looked like they, the nigga was takeoff. Dang. Right? He looked like the nigga was uh, Nipsey Hussle. Dang. You know what I'm saying? It was right. that type of funeral. Right. It gave me, like, they had a whole concert. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it just felt like more of a movie that than a real funeral. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was staged. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. I mean, so, and obviously it was staged. I watched, I watched a little service. bit of it. Yeah, I watched right. a little bit of it. Like you said, it was it was a photo op. It was, it was those there voting you know? off of this young man's services. Mm -hmm. Or service, I should say. That's 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 the feeling of like I got. Yeah, exactly. Me too. What did you want to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Get matches and shit. Yeah, man. So you know, rest in peace, man. They laid on the rest, and uh, you know, we wish nothing but the best for his family. You know what I mean? Exactly. I know all this means that the family is gonna get paid. Of course. Just like you know what I'm saying. The family is gonna that's get that, paid. That, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's a given. So you know why? Because it's a, it's a slam dunk. But I'm telling you, I hope they don't take this young man's reputation. That's what I mean. Oh, they gonna have that's to. what they're gonna try to do. They gonna have you feel me? Yeah. That's what they're gonna try, try to do. I, I, I hope mm -hmm. they really don't take his reputation. Right. Yeah. There's no other way. No, no other way to do it. You yeah, know? They, they, they gotta they try something. to get the dollar amount they, down. They saw, <laughs> they saw, exactly. They yeah. saw in the wrong. You know, when your back is against the wall, you'll do anything. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Even if you don't want to, man, you don't have to do what you have to. Definitely, man. Moving along, man. We're going to go to the three Detroit men, man, that was, uh, they were missing. But uh, Pasadena Sean told me today, right before, you trying to pass? Go ahead, bro. Yeah, right before the uh, episode, man, we found two of them. You know what I'm saying? So I think uh, we got, uh, what's the names, man? Yeah. Okay. I know it's Armani. One is Armani. Uh, Montoya. One is Montoya and one is Dante. That was the one they found? Um, yeah, they, they ended up, they said they found all three. Oh, they found all three, right? Yeah, for yeah. almost two weeks. Um, mm -hmm. Bodies found in an apartment building believed to be those of the three Michigan rappers missing almost two weeks. Yeah. City officials said. Yeah. So, you know, uh, they were supposed to go to this rap concert where they were supposed to be uh, doing the show. One of them, the guy Armani, supposed to be doing the show, and then they it just abruptly got canceled, and then nobody seen them for how many weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. You feel me? So the backstory is Armani was trying to do like some podcast by itself type shit. You know what I'm saying? Airing out dirty laundry about how he, you know, the time that he did in the pen, he had just got out from doing nine years. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he was in there for nine years. So he was just, you know, getting on there, you know, telling people his prison stories and all that. But then I guess once he started getting a couple of people to watch, he started doing like, oh yeah, man. And then this guy was snitching, that guy was right. snitching. Then he started yelling names out. Oh, this right. guy said he was that guy. And I know that guy, but I tried to hit him up. He didn't hit right. me back. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to 1090 Jake it, but he didn't have the background. He kept saying, I ain't got the paperwork on them, but I know they snitching. The, yeah. the streets know what it is. So, yeah. okay. Yeah, so the night before he got on live, 
and with some niggas. And he like, yeah, man, you know, oh, I don't know you. And he was claiming blood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and what's, what was this, uh, Detroit? Oh, you know, yeah, we got know, blood yeah. in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? It's grimy. Yeah, we know it's grimy. <laughs> they was grimy nigga before it was exactly. gang banging. It exactly. was just grimy. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I guess it, when you gone since 2014, you don't know the niggas that's out there now. Exactly. How they gonna set you up? And right. you thinking that, oh, I'm gonna come out. You know when? Well, I don't know about y'all, bro. And I know when I was in jail, it's like, oh man, I'm writing all these raps, nigga. When I get out, nigga, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be they, that. They, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't from Detroit. They was from Oscoga, Oscoga. I mean, uh, it was from Michigan, though. Right? Yeah, they was from yeah, Michigan. Okay. But that Michigan. was like that was like three hours away from Detroit. Mm -hmm. And they drove all the way out there. Yeah, for the yeah, show. Yeah, for the show. Niggas ain't heard from you over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas ain't heard from you over there. So, you know, they pulled up to do the show. Shit was canceled. You know what I'm saying? Thank and you. what happened to them niggas? Never found them again until today, two yeah. weeks later. Yeah. They were dead. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what's funny? You know what's funny? E-40 said that years ago. He said they booked some niggas for, you know, some niggas was talking crazy and whatnot. And they said they booked them for a show. They booked uh -huh. Biggie as a matter of fact. Correct. They said they booked them, and when they got there, the venue was empty. And all the niggas were there to talk. And they was like, you know, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Glad that, you know, they was able to sit down and have a conversation and say some bullshit happened. But yeah, that, that's that been known to happen. That's some bullshit, though. That's some bullshit. Yeah. They didn't get booked. You gotta see the people around there to see what's going on. You gotta yeah, know being, who you're dealing with, man. Being so far away, them niggas probably didn't think nothing of it. Thank you. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga, we about to drive down here, get this bread. They probably offered them some bread, too. Oh, of course. You know what I'm saying? Drive this three hours, nigga, we're gonna pay you a thousand. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but shit, you gotta think about it, nigga. They ain't have a thousand uh, fucking hits on their on they music. Right. So ain't nobody finna book you three hours away, nigga, if you ain't got no fucking list. Especially in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Like, Detroit's a major market right mm -hmm. now. Why, right. Would, why would they book you in Detroit? Right. right. You know? I, I would have seen if there was, like, some type of contest or something, but it was nothing to that effect. Right. For sure. You heard about that swag? I said to tell you. Yeah. Uh, hold on. <coughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I, I didn't... I didn't I know you sent it to me and I didn't do my research on it. I didn't hear nothing about it. I know that uh, Detroit is very grimy. Right. It's a very grimy city. Hey, right hey. Swag. Swag. Swag I took to oh, some niggas in Detroit. I just met this dude the other day. I cut his hair the other day. Right. He was telling me about how he got shot. Oh, okay. Ooh. It's grimy down there. For a, city, for a city that snows and get that cold, how y'all be outside like that? Y'all need to be in the house. Uh -uh. Y'all ass in the house. Hey, you get shot you know, in the you, snow. You know, you know plane, hey, I was just from the sun. <laughs> you know, that's when niggas really slide because, uh -huh. and, and it's funny, like, I remember being in Iowa and it'd be cold, right? And it'd be snow on the ground. And, and the moment the sun peek out, niggas be out. Because, you know, niggas be having so many gloomy days. So the moment the sun come out, it don't matter what it is. Right. Nigga gonna barbecue, you know, just a halfway decent day with some snow on the ground. Nigga gonna barbecue, niggas gonna chill, you know, because the sun is out. And you celebrate for days like that. But It's gonna be right. popping. Yeah. Right. That's a whole, you know, Detroit, Cleveland, you know, Milwaukee, Chicago, Iowa, St. Louis, that mean what? That's some different shit, man. Different right. shit. If you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, that's some different shit. It get cold. It kills me when you got niggas from Cali, right? They be like, oh man, them niggas is country, this and that. Like, oh, nah, nigga, go out there and go check out it there. out. Them niggas go be out more, there look, check it out. You got some niggas who move faster, way faster than you. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. and, and 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 what it is is they just be everywhere. Right. Yeah. Anybody want some? Zach, Zach is in the motherfucking building. Zachariah. Oh shit, we got ice too. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid, stupid. <laughs> 
Look, look, you know what's funny? Yeah, we, the Cowboys. we ain't got shit in order, so. <laughs> hey, that nigga can laugh now because the Niners lost. <laughs> I can't cool oh, with that. That nigga Dwight was on suicide while he said that the other day on the show. That shit was hilarious. That nigga, like, nigga, I was on suicide watch, nigga. Yeah, I, 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 I literally went to bed and cried after the 49ers lost. Yeah, man. It's all good, man. Look, Flossie, was, look, look, Flossie he just is bad. He was like, man, I can't come around, y'all. The last time I was around Juice, we lost. Yeah. But, I'm superstitious, for sure. So who was you around this time that you ain't going to be around next year? Oh, you already right. know. <laughs> What was you in 86? If you wasn't with me when I was watching the last four, when the 49ers won the last time with Steve Young. Exactly, brother. Don't be shit, nigga. You had to put your grandma on. Grandma was on. Grandma. The Tigra. Your damn. PJs on this yeah. set, you know what I mean? You already know, nigga. Oh, that, that's the nigga get down to. On the real, hell yeah, man. So yeah, man. That's crazy, man. I'm glad they found them brothers because his mama was on there and she was yeah, like, she you was know, bleeding. I know, no, she was like, I know he dead, but yeah. I want to bury him and I want to get past this. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, niggas don't just go missing for two weeks, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? You find your car. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know something happened to him. That remind me, I don't want to exactly. cut you off, but that remind me of a first 48 that I've seen where they had the little dude, him and his boy, and they found them in an abandoned house, tied up, beat up, and all that, and dead. His name was Andre something and the other dude, and it was because they was trying to cast these little checks, and they tried uh -huh. to take off on the boy, uh -huh. and the boy called him and said, well, just go cast these other two checks and give me all the money. Right. And it was like, all right, cool. Nigga tied the nigga up took him and then another nigga was like oh man uh they told me to bring all of this weed that we had got from another jug you know right. what i'm saying and he was like i said it right here if y'all don't remember that it was in miami right but that reminded me of that they ain't find them niggas for a while and then when they found them niggas in that house you know what i'm saying that kind of remind me of that like right. nigga, you got to watch what you do out here yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do it too. Yeah, right. man. Shit. Yeah. That part too. Niggas just gonna come saying. after that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. You got some niggas who don't forget, and then, you know that's their business to, you know, to get get back. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. All right, man. We gonna go to the little college, man. Not a little college, but Louisiana State University, LSU. So this this girl, you know, she went to a party with these guys. You know what I'm saying? They got her hella drunk. Y'all didn't hear about this? Nah, no, oh, man. This is a big story, man. LSU uh, student, man. She went out there, got drunk, and then they took her back to the house. You know, I'm sure some people that I know done did shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Got a little broad, took her to the house, sauced her up, and ran a train on her. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ran a train right. on her. And then they did the hospitable thing. They drove her home and let her out the car, and, you know, she fucked up. So I guess she wandered in the street, got hit by a car, and died. Feel me? So what happened was they ran toxicology. She was drunk as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know it takes a while to get back to drugs if there was any drugs right. in the system. Right. But uh, yeah, they found out that she. They said she was raped. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They performed a rape kit on her. Of course. But the guys are saying it's consensual. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The guys were saying it's consensual. But the one, you know, was a white boy mm -hmm. that was with him. Right. He said he didn't do nothing with her. He told the guys, no, she's too drunk. Right. No, I'm not going to do anything. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's why the other two dudes was like, no, it's consensual. But this motherfucker was like, no, nah, uh-uh. It was, but I said she was too drunk. That's why I didn't do it and right. this and that. So, you know, the white boy going to get off. Of you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, if you, you didn't stop them, exactly. you still in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't stop these yeah. niggas, you still in it. Exactly. You feel me? You're still a part of it. You're still a part of it, man. Yeah. How y'all feel about, this is really about, like, all of us are older, so we all got a 20-year-old daughter, 19-year-old daughter, except Swaggy, his daughter is a little younger. But it's to say that, you know, you got to have your kids a little, a little ready. You're going to have to fix that camera, man. Y'all know the camera is right there. You feel me, Smokey? Yeah, this one right here. Turn it a little bit. Yeah, turn it that way a little bit. 
no more. Slow. No, 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 no. That way, that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right there, right there, right there, right there. A little more, a little more. They turn back. That's cool right there. All right, for sure. Yeah. So, you know, we got to teach our daughters, you know what I'm saying? When you're going out, you know what I'm saying? Control yourself. Right. Yeah. You feel me? Don't take a drink from a motherfucker that you don't know. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? If you at the bar, had that bartender pour you to drink, you drink it. Don't let a motherfucker bring you no drink. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if they spiked their shit. Oh, Nothing yeah, like exactly. that. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's a shame that she died, though. Yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 it's a shame that she died. Yeah, watch that thing at the bottom, though. See? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Crazy shit. Crazy shit. Yeah, that's How you gonna feel about that, though? Man, I feel that that's extremely unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that she was still, you know, That's three families for real. Yeah. Cause we know the white boy gonna get off. Right. You know he's singing like a bird. But it's right. gonna it's gonna affect him the rest of his life because exactly. the ridicule he's gonna get from it. From not and doing then, nothing. And then we know, <coughs> you know, it being public. And then it being after the fact though. And then you know anytime <coughs> you Google office. him, right. he's gonna be tied to that. Right. You know we live in a world so now. We'll say say for instance you meet a chick online, right? Mm -hmm. First thing she finna do is Google. Right. Exactly. You know, so if that comes up, that's a red flag. Yeah, see if oh, this nigga a child molester. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? See if he ain't exactly. raping anybody. Oh, no, of course. Yeah, for sure, man. That's just the society. Real bitch don't want to snitch, man. That's just society. On the real. The real one don't want to snitch, man. Man, that is crazy, man. You talking about real bitches. So, I got a question for y'all, man. Who is the biggest tricks in the world? Is it women or men? By far, men. By far, man. Okay, okay. What you say, uh, Flossy? Uh, I would say women. Okay. What you say, uh? Well, we know you're the biggest trick I know. That's right. <laughs> I, 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 I say man, man cause, yep, I, I do trick, and I ain't gonna lie about it. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you don't exactly qualify yeah, yeah. as man. Come on, man, the men are the trick. Come on now. Okay. There's no doubt about it. Come on, we we, we, we got about. Man. Come on, sex and 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 pussy is. Come on now, we we, we do anything for it, right? No, you. No, I, <laughs> hey, that's, that's, no, that's, a, that's a real statement. That's a real yeah, statement. Yeah, come on that's now. A real we that's are the. Statement. Come on, man. Not, I know some niggas that do I'm anything a, for it. You know what I mean? Come on now, men are the tricks. We go to niggas go to strip clubs, making it rain and shit all the damn. Spend the money well, on women, women go to the same type of strip clubs right. and they throw exactly. even more money. Exactly. No, they exactly. throw their whole check. Thank you. No, not like men. Niggas though. be acting like they ballers and go be like, okay, exactly. yeah, but the women, they be like, oh, I made 1700 last week. I'm going to go you. throw this 1500 Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I, I just think like this, like if a woman really fuck with you, she going to be tricking like a motherfucker. Right. And, and we don't, and us men, you know, the word trick is not to be like we using you or nothing. It's just the word we we using. You know it's what I'm saying? Yeah, but I just feel like a woman, if she care about you, nigga, she gonna do whatever it is to make you happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If if a man, I feel like if a man is out here tricking on a woman, trying to make her happy, that woman ain't gonna never be happy. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I just think that women are the. I'm gonna say the most giving. The man we give it with something wanting in return. Right. Like, okay, lay. I bought you this, so, you know, I need head on demand. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. It, it's always some stipulations a woman going to give to you just because. Right. She don't expect you to fuck her at the end of the night. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? She just like, good. oh, little baby, I know i seen these kicks. I know you like this type. And, right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be like, I got you these shoes, baby. You know what I'm saying? Here go my dick. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. What you going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's like we trick them for different reasons. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Right. It's all right. Well, I say that, you know, as I've gotten older, I, I realize it's a position here. And, you know, it 
thing about tricking is about turning people on to a different level of life. If you're somebody who's experienced and seasoned and you've been some places, you don't want to shout no woman. Mm -hmm. You're gonna turn her on to something different. You know, like say for instance, you know, your woman, you know, she used to go to Applebee's and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Take her to a nice restaurant and charge her some stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, or you have, you know, a woman who wears beads or, you know, she's really basic and wears costume goods. You know, turn her on to, you know, it's just, and that's just an example, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, if you're dating her and you don't have the intention of being with her, then no, you can't turn her on. And that's considered true. And if you got the intention of being with her, and you know, yeah, you got to turn her on and shit. Well, when you're in a relationship, it ain't tricking. If you're no, in a relationship yeah. with somebody yeah, and... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want to turn them on to the finer things and you want them to shine like you shining? No, nah, that ain't tricking. That's just like, baby, this is our level right yeah. now. This is what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? But if you out there courting the broad, you know what I'm saying? And you out there like, oh, man, let's go over here. We're going to, I've been spent 400 over here on dinner. We're going to go over the next night. We're going to go over here. But at the end of the night, you want something in return, you know? Yeah, shit, you know that steak comes yeah. with this dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You want yeah. the tomahawk? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, the tomahawk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> tomahawk is the inside your ass. You know what I'm saying? Shit. That tomahawk. My brother over there like, yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I get right. you this tomahawk steak, that means you're going to take it all down. Yeah. Don't give a fuck if you're choking and crying. The ball, look, look, look. The ball, yeah. too. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. I don't care how full you is. It's and if you can't, and if you can't get it all in your mouth, lick them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, shit. Going, I'm going, I'm going deep sea diving. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? But nigga, you want fish? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, you want steak and lobster? Well, I'm going deep sea diving tonight. I was about to eat swaggy deep, bro. Hell yeah, he okay. going to eat the pussy after he, <laughs> after he, after he spent three hundred. All he want to do is kiss you. Is the pussy. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like my boy. I'm going to eat it like a pussy. Oh, no. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? I was talking to my boy the other day. You know what I'm talking about? This nigga was like, nigga, I'd rather just eat a bitch's ass off the rip. <laughs> I was like, what? He gonna eat yeah, his ass fresh off work. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's been sitting all day at work. That, hey, that's what he did. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what he did. Hey, hey. I throw that in his face every chance I get. Like, nigga, oh, ain't that white bitch ass. Nigga, <laughs> she in the shower. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> See, that nigga, that nigga probably let a bitch shit on his chest. <laughs> swag, <laughs> hey, swag, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Everybody know what I'm talking about. That's great. Hey, yeah. 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 That 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 hey, yeah. hey, we said just hot <laughs> for a day. <laughs> no, I ain't even gonna say that. <laughs> oh man, I done had plenty of arguments with that nigga. Yeah. I'm going to eat her ass. Uh, <laughs> off the rip. Hey, looking you for him. Like, you know. like, off the rip? He's like, yeah, nigga. I ain't looking for him. <laughs> bitch, I buy you Sizzler? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That bitch, look, look. He going to take her to Tops and eat her ass. <laughs> you know you got that shit super size. <laughs> no. No. Bend over. She can only get a large chili cheese fries. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And, 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 and they still gonna eat. And then sharing them. Oh, oh damn! Oh, oh, oh man! Chili cheese, chili cheese, bacon. With bacon? Oh yeah, that's that's that ex, that's that exotic chili oh, cheese. Yeah. Yeah. So if that same woman, if she pay for dinner and all of that, she don't really expect too much at the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? But you as a man, you feel that obligation. Like, okay, she just spent like two, three hundred. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give it to her tonight. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't but she ain't really expecting that. I don't think a man, you know, really has the intention like he wants to. Like, let's say, let's say you're not finna knock a woman if you 
you know, you don't want to run through them. Right, right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You just not. No, no. I, I, you mean you never wanted her for a brain? Uh, I, I didn't know what kind of brain she had because I was looking at her beauty uh-huh. and her booty. It's the, you know? it's the booty, not the beauty. That's right. Yeah, you know, it's your beauty, not the booty. Yeah, I, I just think yeah. it's a character, uh-huh. not flaw, but right. a flaw in someone's character because I, it, it applies. I think it applies for men, male and female, as far as having arterial muscles uh-huh. when you're tricking. Because I give you a prime example, like you might be with a female on certain days. A certain holiday at certain times of the year, she gonna trick, uh-huh. but she gonna want that tricking back in return when yeah, that when certain day or holiday come, come around, around for her. her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because so, she want a recognition, right? So it's not always about, I guess, that how I guess it is about how you're tricking. Because, so, like I said, a lot of people do tricking because, like you said, there's uh, there's an ulterior motive behind it to have leverage or to keep some type of control over you. It's or to get what you want. And not, well, not necessarily per se, I, I but mean, that could be, you know, or to get close to you, you know. But what I'm saying is that's normally as you get to know a person. You see what I'm saying? What I'm but, saying is this: what I was just simply saying is when you first meet somebody, uh-huh. you don't know who they are. No, you never right. do. You know, right. and, and and you know, it takes a couple situations to, for you to really want to get to know them. Right. It isn't just like off the rip. Oh, like oh, I want to get to know this woman. Yeah, but but like I said, with the with the question being posted as far as male versus female, right. I was just I, saying. That's no, no, I no. I, I feel you, but but this is what's so funny, right? Look at all the shit that we do in order to pursue women, right? Right. But look at all the shit that they have to do, right. In order to keep our eyes on, them. right? Hair, eyes, makeup, yeah, it's a lot. Toes, so when you think you know about the effort, right? It does just compare. being competitive. Mm-hmm. They're more competitive because. They have to go through X, Y, and Z to do all this and that because they know it's one bride that is just go out here and do it all. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. You With no it. effort. And that's a good point. You make a good point. So that's what I'm saying. But you can see the hierarchy in it because a man will do all that he can. But trust me, that bride that he's chasing is bad because he ain't chasing no duck. Right. You see what I'm saying? He ain't right. tricking on no right. duck unless, I mean, the sex is just... Out of this world, I don't see some head or something on like some that. Ducks, it's gotta I be, worked at a but, shelter. I mean, it's, right, 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 right. it's got to be some benefit from it. You, oh yeah, you will. But the head, or some, some's gonna be fired. Goddamn right. right. The conversation, some, something. Swagger, what was you trying to say? No, no I, was, I was agreeing with him. He's making a great point right here because I always tell my woman like, you got to keep yourself together. If you want your man to be loyal and faithful to you. You gotta keep yourself looking right, you know what I mean? Or, or else we're gonna stray off and look at, you know what I mean? We're gonna look at, there's gonna be another one out there looking better than you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You gotta keep yourself, you gotta come out the house looking nice, you gotta put your makeup on, you gotta, you gotta keep your weight down, don't get too big, all right? Or, 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 or don't look like shallow Hal, okay? Because I'm, I'm gonna go out here and look for, okay? I'm gonna go and look for Kim Kardashian. If you ain't looking like Kim, <laughs> you looking like if you looking like uh, Freddie Jackson, I'm gonna go over here and look for Janet Jackson. <laughs> hey, hey, but shit, back in the days, man, you know, you see all the pictures and all that. You know what I'm saying? Grandmamas, aunties, all that. They was walking around the house in moo moos, and the yeah. niggas stayed at the house. Yeah, right. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, no, well, 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 nigga, nigga, had, time. nigga had another oh, bitch. Yeah. Or, nigga had another bitch on the other side of town. Oh, yeah. that was a lot of that was going on. That's why we the movie fences. were able exactly yeah. we were able to grow as as a, a culture, community. I should say, yeah. um, mm-hmm. as a whole. That's but, when but you the, realize Papa had like ten kids, and the other three was on the other side of town. Uh, exactly, you've been playing the, with the, for the, years, and you and never knew the fuck they was until you go, get into high school. Now all of a sudden, oh, you man, got the same we last name. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Shit. You but, my uh, brother? Like, <laughs> exactly. And, and that's real. apart. You know what I mean? Crazy. Look, look, Crazy. Me, right. me and Zach granddaddy had like, what do you have? 20, 21? I was just Yeah, he, man, he had 21 kids. So, you know, that, that's a lot of kids. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's, that's a whole lot of kids. Yeah, he had anybody the same one? Or yeah, he had like, like my Uncle Gary. Oh, okay. He had like 
two by her, but he'd have, you know, a couple who he had two by, but. I mean, you know, that's right. the average, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Have, yeah. About, yeah. have about 19, 20 bitches, but you got to think, like, that was probably in, like, the 60s, 50s, 70s. That went from right? the 30s to, the, okay. you know. Okay, so, nigga, they didn't even have condoms back then, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? A nigga didn't know how to pull out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga pull out game Shit. was weak. Yeah. Exactly. That nigga yeah. was like, you know what? Yeah, if hey, it happened, it happened. Yeah. That nigga probably had babies from Florida all the way to fucking Michigan. That guy, that exactly. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. That nigga had kids and my, my Uncle Billy Rome. He let, I mean, um, yeah, my Uncle Billy Rome. He lived in Florida. Mm -hmm. But he not from Florida, but, you know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, that's funny. You yeah, that. I just yeah. think that, like, women, the ulterior motive is, like, like Flossie just said, like, okay, they feel like it's an investment in you. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women, though, you meet a lot of women, and they trying to show you, like uh, Pasadena Shaw was saying, they trying to show you a different thing, because if I'm used to always, you know, in conversation, you talk to women, and like you said, you're getting to know them, and they're like, oh, man, what you like to eat? You're like, oh, man, you're a regular nigga. Like, man, I like going to Chili's, Red Lobster. Right. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, she taking you to Javier's and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and nigga, you like, but hey, you hey, hey, you're like, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? But like, you on. And as a man, we be like, oh, shit. We man, appreciate I'm, that. I'm, I appreciate it, but I'm also going to hit that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it turns you on. And turns like, you man, on. Huh? You she know what put saying? me on like, shit, this you, fool. You flipping and the woman, you could take her to Javier's and she gonna be like, shit, it's just another day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Another nigga tricking on me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I seen a, uh, a skit. You know, I call it a skit because these niggas be putting these skits up to make it look real and all that. Mm -hmm. A nigga took a broad on a, on a uh, expensive date to go see Salt Bay over in uh, Miami. Right. And the bro was like, well, you know, my Uber is almost here. He was like, yo, Uber? Right. Like, no, nah, you coming with me. You know, when you ordered that tomahawk, I'm ready to tomahawk that pussy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And she like, oh, well, you didn't say that from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to let me know what it is and right. da, 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 da. And that's what a lot of niggas don't do. When you do trick, you got to let a woman know, yeah. like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if hey, I'm doing you know, this. We can go to this expensive restaurant, bitch, but we're going to be ordering appetizers. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You got to let them know from the rep. So y'all niggas out there tricking, thinking that y'all going to spend all of this money on the broad. You got to let fucking, you got to lay them rules down. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you can order on this side of the menu. But if you get over here to that yeah. market value, right. <laughs> you don't know what funny. that entails. You know, you know what's like funny? Said, oh, my bad. That's, when I, that's when I learned that. That's what, I learned this a long time ago. A bitch would rather suck your dick then, you know what I'm saying, give you some intercourse. Uh -huh. Because then that way she can't say she fucked you. Yeah, everybody count is still low. Yeah. She yeah, ain't gonna but, brag about But that you. mouth count is on a thousand. And you know what? It's, it's, it's like four niggas in here, yeah, like maybe four or five that would take that. Oh, right? well, yeah. Man, I'm, I'm gonna take that head and run with it. Take it run with it. Yeah, yeah. But see, like, like you were saying, because I can say I ain't fucked you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Hell yeah. Shit. But, but, I reply to Shay. Thank you. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, but it's funny that you said that because that's the that's the flaw. Mm -hmm. They don't do it for the female. That's the irony in it. You said the niggas don't do they it don't, for the female. And vice versa. They don't do it. They feel it for the self. They yeah, do it they for, do the for the self ego. indulgence and it's the egos ego. in themselves. Mm -hmm. It's the ego to so know that you can knock bad bitches. that's why people be out here tricking. Right. It ain't got nothing to do with the individual they tricking on. Mm -hmm. So let me ask they, you a question. They can't help themselves. Just like they tell you. Just like you know Pippin. You know Pippin. A trick can't help but to be a trick. Right. He, gone, he was born. What they say? A trick. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Don't die a trick. That's <laughs> right. Let me ask you a question. If you go to church with the bitches that consider tricking. <laughs> Shit, if that come back, somebody come by me. <laughs> if I go to church with you, I, I fucking love your ass. Look, exactly. Look, I ain't gonna lie. If I go to church with you, I love exactly. you. I got mad at him. Nigga, you go to church next day. <laughs> I'm a, I might tell you as this might be the church we get married in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Big thing, oh, shit. Right. Well, I heard a rapper say it ain't tricking if you got it. Yeah, but no, shit, some of us ain't got it. It is still tricking 
if you got it. Mm -hmm. If you it got tricky. it, it ain't tricky? No, it is it's still tricky. tricky. It's still tricky? Yeah. It, yeah. Still if the bitch ain't tricks, yours. Don't listen to Lil Wayne, nigga. That nigga had your hair broke, busted, and disgusting. Exactly. You'll catch that disease, bro. If the bitch ain't yours, man. If she ain't yours. And you spending money on her. And she better act like you ain't got it. And you you for shit. And you put the bare minimum in front of her. Tell them, brother. Tell them all. You got to act like you ain't got it. Like my boy T.I. said. You can have whatever you like. <laughs> I said you can have whatever you that like. That nigga looked dead in the camera when he said that. <laughs> hey, I said you can have whatever you like. That nigga trick. He got so many bras on the side. Thanks on tricky. me. Patron on ice. You can get yeah. you can have whatever you like. Yeah, right. what, what, what does society tell us, right? Okay. Always. <laughs> And, and always advance, <laughs> always get pressure, always do better, always, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh -huh. So that's what it is. They got us chasing the ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have us chasing the ball like, nigga, I got to get pressure this year. I got to do this this year. I got to. It's always, it's always awesome to have self improvement. Mm -hmm. It's all about what your motivation is behind that. Right. That's, that's right. 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 Absolutely. For sure, man. So, um, I had a friend who shared the last podcast. So this girl hit me on Facebook. Yeah, what's her name? I, I forget her name. Um, but if you're watching this, you know who you are. And she was like, you know, y'all should talk about the new movies that's coming out, right? So, and she was saying, like, you know, we're doing a lot of reboots now, right? It's a lot of reboots. It is. Yes, there are. The, the uh, yes, there are. Halloween came out Thank last you. summer. Very I mean, young. last just uh, Halloween, in, uh, right? It yes, just sir. dropped House Party. Thank it you. just dropped Avatar. Thank you. So her question, Rocky. her question, they bring back Rocky uh, Creed 3, yeah, Creed. right? That shit look like it's going to be the best yeah. one. Super fire. You know what I'm saying? They're running it back off uh, the boy uh, Mr. T. That's his son. son. That's oh, okay. Oh, that's shit. Sure. That's yeah, dope. That's the, yeah. So her question is, do y'all think they should bring back Catwoman? That shit was like almost twenty years ago, You're fifteen talking years about ago. As far as, what what uh, uh, what uh, uh, DC? Uh, yeah, Catwoman? the Marvel, Marvel, no, DC. right? It's that was DC. DC. Okay, DC, yeah. yeah. Who was that? Holly Berry. Holly Berry. So what y'all feel about? Well, who, yeah. who you hey, feel? Hey, the Earth the Kid for sure. Uh -huh. Earth the Kid. So a, black woman. Yeah. so a black woman. So a black woman. The first yeah. black, yeah, superhero, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, female. Superhero. This was a black girl, and she was saying that it should be a Hispanic. And I was like, ah, no, the kid. that that role was created for a black woman. Concreted by you know Earth what I'm saying. Kid. So it's like you know, yeah. it's it's nothing racial about what I'm saying. It's just like when a role is created, that's like Batman. You don't never see no black Batman. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So you would never see a black Catwoman. Or you would. I mean, presume, a white you, you uh, Catwoman or presume, a Mexican Catwoman. You would presume that you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But. Right, I know they're changing a lot of you shit. You see what I'm saying? But what would we like to see? But 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 the, the awesome thing about it is that that was concreted by my boy Stan Lee. I mean, mm -hmm. well, not Stan Lee, my apologies. By the writers and such from DC as far as on taking advantage of someone's actual talent. Mm -hmm. So they took her the kid because they knew she could sing, she could dance, they knew she could roll and do. The, the, the role, right? You know that, that exactly. So they knew that. <laughs> so we know they knew that. For <laughs> but My they were bold enough to put her in the role. Now you know what I'm saying. It's nothing but it's nothing but white people on, on on TV at this point in time. When her the kid gets oh definitely right. definitely. Yeah. So and she was one of the most powerful black women at that time. The TV you. on TV. Exactly. Yeah, rest in peace, Earth the Kid. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? My God. Lady Eloise. <laughs> That's what we know her as. Lady Eloise. Right. Hey, hey. <laughs> but you know you got the black uh, sister hey. and me over there. Niggas walk in the room, nigga. <laughs> Lady Eloise got real. body count, nigga. Hey, hey, hey. You can just put us down. Hey, swag. Lady Eloise had a bigger body count than you. <laughs> hey, she was I, I would have took her down. Grim Reaper. <laughs> that nigga would have took her down. He was Reaper. I would have took Lady, Lady Eloise down. Swag. Yeah. I, I love that movie. Boomerang? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, that's Hell a classic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, you know, that, that role is, is, uh, is made for a black woman. Yes. So, yes. who, do, who sure. do you think could play that role? Right now? Right, right now. now. You know? Ooh. Right now, you can get a mixture, and you know, uh, you know who I think Zoe, yeah. you know, if they, no, they kind of want to go there, but you know, uh, 
and she uh she used to like our music and used to follow us and love it on SoundCloud. Kept Parker, uh, you know I'm talking about from nothing. Her, 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 her name, uh, Ari. Is it Ari? No, Ari, not Ari. I know who you're talking about. Fuck, what is her name? It, it, it's not Ari. my mind right now, but she was the, the sister and no. Yeah. And, um, oh, you're talking about, um, uh, her last name is Richards. Frank Parker? Oh, he, if you seen no, the no, dope head. Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer? Kiki Palmer. That's my dog right there. She's pregnant right she, now. She's she, Kiki Palmer. Did she, she play in the finest? Did she play in no? Yeah, she was a sister. Oh! Yeah, nigga, yeah, time yeah, out, time yeah, out. Yeah. Disclaimer, nigga, I'm thinking about the movie Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Not no. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you heard me say the Dope yeah, head. Yeah. <laughs> she got Dina Ty, she from Dina. She uh -huh. on top. She, she uh -huh. tapped in. Yeah, she, for sure. Shout out to her, too. So, yeah, yeah, shout that, out. I think she... Yeah, she would be dope in that movie. Dope She's pregnant right, right now. now. Yeah, yeah, she is. She just did. Having her first kid. That's dope. Now, that's dope. Hell yeah. Good people, though. She like, is. She's good people. I've seen her in the set many times, you know what I'm saying? And yes, she be sir. moving and she cool. Yeah, she, she's 100. And she so, just bought some shit. Awesome. Does she have a, a, either a network or a... a, a she may have did a studio or something like that. Or something. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I know she's um, busting moves. Look it up and see what she doing yeah, she's busting moves right but now. She, she got something that's real... Popping right now, yeah, she, she's you know what I'm saying? Right she's like, real moves. She's trying to be a billionaire. Yeah, she's on her way. You know, yeah. child actress. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Came up through the, you know, yeah. the ropes. She because a lot of child actors that we see, they don't make they it can, past they that role. Right. They you know what I'm transition. saying? It's hard to transition. Yeah, yeah. Past she was at Disney. She was at Disney. She, yeah, she started from Disney. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now a lot of, well, depending on <laughs> the time. But yeah, a lot of the Disney kids have been successful yeah. and able to move on, but not all of it. Right. I think I think most likely she created her own channel. For her own channel. Okay. That's, That's dope as hell. Yeah. Because that was just like three she or four months her ago. Own digital, yeah, her own digital channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew she did something big. You know what I mean? That's that's big, man. Especially for uh, a young black woman. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. To exactly. have something to set up for her family going forward. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they set up BET back in the days, and right. they sold it for a big number later on. Y'all yeah. ever notice that BET, they don't show no fucking videos no more. It's movies, movies, that. movies. Who, who movies. Does? And who Tyler does? Perry. Yeah. I, but I'm just saying, like, like BET, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they Tyler, were built on videos they for should, our generation. They should be yeah, calling that geez. motherfucking Tyler Perry Productions. Cause yeah. but, everything but you, know you what? see on that motherfucker. They have, channels, they have channels devoted strictly to videos. Right. What, 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 if you buy them extra packages. What's that number? Right. What's that What's that number on that channel? It's the BT. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? 975,000. Hey, listen. Oh, Michael, who watching? When you watch a video, where do you go? YouTube. Thank you. Yeah. Who watching a video on that? Yeah, right. Somebody oh, tell oh, you what? so and so video drops, you like, oh, nigga, I'll go get it on YouTube. You're yeah. absolutely right. Man, for sure, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, shit, man. Anything else anybody got to add, you know what I'm saying, before we get over to uh, sports and shit? Well, um, I mean, if we going to, I didn't want this to be a break moment, but I definitely wanted to take a, a moment to uh, speak on something unfortunate that happened to me and my family, man. Um, unfortunately, one of my uh, older cousins, man, was extremely close to me. Say no names or nothing like that. No, we spoke on it. They know. Yeah, yeah, they know. But uh, yeah, man, it's just uh, it's, it's a tragic thing, man, because it's just like early in the year, just like Spike was saying, how as far as the investigations and everything, and how people want to, you know, push things forward and try to speed things up on these type of events. Starting this year, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It sounds like it's a campaign year to me, you know what I mean? It just seems like it's a lot of early campaigning and it's individuals that's trying to get ahead of the ball and have the curve uh, to kind of stake their claim on wherever they at or whatever particular position they in, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, to, to continue to keep that. Right. So that's why it's so funny and irony in all these police-involved shootings 
and we ain't even through the first quarter of the year. Right. You know, not the physical, but you know, the actual. We just in the second month. Thank you. And already, but it's Black History Month, right? Yeah. So the irony is, all this occurs in January, and then Black History Month rolls around where all the exposure now is coming out. It just seems like somebody just like, let's just add some gasoline to the fire type deal. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's just like when they, during the pandemic, and everybody had to, they were forced to stay inside, you know what I mean? And you, you couldn't go outside or be outside, you know, past a certain time of, you know, night and this and that and the third. You, you can't do nothing but what they tell you to do. But you were exposed and you got to watch TV. You got to have some type of outlet. Uh-huh. So what's going on during the beginning of the pandemic? What's going on and what did you see? It wasn't being reported every single day. Black people getting killed by law enforcement. True. Yeah. Right. All through the pandemic. Literally, like you've never seen the exposure and the footage and like the video footage getting expedited out to us to where we're getting exposed fast. to it so that fast yeah. ever. It, Ain't I nobody mean, ever Rodney recorded King, nothing Rodney on King they King got beat. The yeah. only reason why we seen that footage is because the it was individual leaked. that no, the individual that had the footage sold the footage. Right. It was leaked. To the news, to a news station. Uh-huh. Right. That's the only reason why we even seen that as early as it is. But if it wasn't for that, we would it would have took years for that. So like I said, it's just funny and the irony and what we're talking about and like you guys were saying and projection with the young brothers dying and oh there's a new police chief, there's a new mayor, there's a that's the thing. It feels like there's a new regime right. that's hiding behind these killings. And vulture in these situations too, and, that, and, that, and that's just what I feel when it comes to my loved one. Right. But uh, regardless, man, I'm keeping it 100 with you. It's always funny because we always see it on TV, and you know, you always feel like you're praying for the family and all that. But it, for show sure, on mamas, it does hit a little bit different. When, when it shows, on, yeah, it's it shows. Right. I mean, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, like, because this is some uh, conversation I never have. Now I've had. You know, people who've had interactions, unfortunate interactions, but not died by them. But when they pass, it hit a little different. It do. Yeah, because yeah, uh, my boy used to stay above you. Thank you know what I'm saying? Thank used to you. come over. Thank you know what I'm saying? We was talking about it, but yeah, he used to come over and shit. Y'all niggas gonna make it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it was on. You know what I'm saying? And you know to hear that happen to him, it was just like I had to show up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but yeah. it was well, just I like you for your support too. Yeah, right. for sure. Right. It, but it was just like not him. You know what I'm saying? And like you were saying, I feel like anybody that 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 has happened to, everybody always say the same thing. Not him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like not exactly. not my boy, not my people, right. you know what I'm saying? Not my friend, not right. my relative, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. And you know, it, it's 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 real unfortunate, man, that you know, we as black people still going through shit that our ancestors was going through or our people that still living that's older right. now that was going through whether they was getting hosed down, whether it was Emmett right. Till, you know what I'm saying? Right. Whether they was getting killed by the KKK. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just different now. You know what I'm saying? Same shit. I mean, you know, you yeah. die the same death. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? They just and it's tragic. The, 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 the way they do. Yeah. The That's whole tragic. approach. Yeah. They like, okay, we're going to get behind these badges and kill y'all. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that, that shit is just fucked up. But when you watch a Western, the one law-abiding citizen that runs everything is the sheriff. Uh-huh. Supposedly. Right. You see what I'm saying? So uh-huh. they've been hiding behind these badges. Yeah. And they've been drilling that in our brains to the point where even our generation, our generation, we didn't grow up on no John Wayne and nothing like that, but we know about uh-huh. every single black and white Western there is under the sun. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's, that's how they manipulate us. That's how they build that fear. Right. We didn't even realize it at the time. (laughs) HNIC. What's the HNIC? Thank you, man. The head cop in charge. Head nigga in charge. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay. But, uh, but in all honesty, man, it's, it's just it's just wild that, like I said, it's, it's a society of a way they can manipulate us. Right. You know, we got to be stronger. I agree. You know? Yeah. So, uh, what you got on sports for us? Man, 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 man. The Lakers fucking won the day, man. That made my day. They won by one, and it was only Indiana, but man. Shit, we won the other day, too. Man. We did, Sheesh. we did, but but then we got fucking blew Probably out by the Nets. Motherfucking Clippers. Sheesh. Clippers about to lose. To Giannis, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who it is. You're I losing, mean, not, nigga. Not the Indianas. The loss is the loss. Hey, not the Hall- Halliburton was having a night tonight, so oh, y'all you better check made it. him look like better, Magic Johnson You better check the scope. He was out there looking like Magic Johnson out there. Balling, there on down the whole game. He playing. played in Sacramento, too, right, brother? He played sure Sacramento. Did. He got tripped. Oh, he was looking like Magic in Sacramento against y'all, too. I recall the game with Keith. You know, I was thinking about something, right? They ain't got no championship. So, oh, you know, no. Hell no. Yeah. What I was thinking, if I was a coach, I think this is what Jock Vaughn did to the New Jersey Nets. Because, you know, they was looking like shit right. until he came up. Like, this will be my speech if I was a coach in the league. Like, dang, I don't give a fuck if y'all niggas is 4 and 12, right? right? When y'all niggas came up in the game, why the fuck you think you in the league, nigga? You was number one on your high school team. You was number one on your pro team. See? Nigga, give a fuck who got the name out here. Nigga, go out there and ball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pass that ball around, nigga. Get the open shot, nigga. You're going to score and we're going to do it. All of y'all is superstars. Give a fuck. Y'all getting paid to play the game that y'all love. Right. You know, I think that's where everybody in the league, especially as spectators, and I think this transitions to the players, too. Right. Because the players be like, okay, nigga, we got LeBron over here. We got... Uh, 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 what's the boy name? John Moran, right? Oh, I'm just yeah, th- speaking yeah, of other yeah, teams. Yeah, you got the Curry. Flights, the flights, you got yeah. all of these the niggas. Got here. shoe deals. Yeah. They the man. So I'm going to just go out here and get my paycheck, right? But these niggas forget that they was the fucking man coming up. That's why y'all here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Let me so tell you when you was talking thing. about Halliburton, yeah. real quick, when you was talking about Halliburton balling, you know what I'm saying? I think that these niggas, they forget who the fuck they are. Oh, definitely. When they get to the league, they forget who the fuck they are. You know what I'm Some teams you have a role, mm-hmm. you know, and if you don't stay JJ within Riddick. that, you're right. Yeah. If you don't stay within <laughs> that role, you know they get rid of you, you're right? Because you're not, you know, you're not doing what they're asking you to do. If you're trying to do a little more, Rick Fox, right here, but shit, Rick Fox is a champion. No, but what I'm saying is, yeah, he, he was playing exactly. a role. He, 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 playing a role. he was when he was in Boston. When he was in Boston, he was a scorer. When you mm-hmm. become complacent with the role that been allocated to you, not that you chose. Right. Hey, man, you just go ahead and do this here. Mm-hmm. Knowing that she was awesome. Right. Think she about think about Jay Will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he got hurt, so I No, mean, I'm talking about the white Jay Will. My, my oh, white, white chocolate. chocolate? White chocolate. He was the man. He was the right, man. but remember when he simmered his game down? Yeah, yeah. They wanted they, did, they didn't like well, him spicy. Was, hey, but they didn't like him... But they what didn't did like he him spicy. Had, They didn't like him spicy. They didn't like him spicy. They didn't like the spicy. Well, think Spe- about it. Think especially about it. at that time, Juice. Remember oh, that? Yeah, was, they didn't like that they, shit. They, the they, Miami they, was, he won the championship in Miami. In Miami but right. that's different. Right. Now, turn out, turn out. What other point guards was on that team when they won? You had Dwayne well, Wade. Dwayne Wade played point. Jerry Payton. Time. Was okay. Jerry Payton on that yeah, team? Yeah, Jerry Payton was yeah. on that team. Uh, yeah, it was in uh, Eddie House. Yeah. What? Eddie House was on that team. Hardaway had just left, huh? Yeah, he just left. He oh, just no, left. Timmy? Timmy, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah. And Steve Smith I think was Timmy gone. Timmy may have actually. No, no that was he, gone. he had just left. He yeah, had just gone. left. But what I'm saying is that he had three traditional point guards besides Eddie see. House. He was a he was a scorer. He wasn't right. really like no no. no of course. I'm not finna pass, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, shoot, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? His number was what 55, nigga, because yeah. he didn't score 55 before. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. but when you got those other type of players on your team, it's like you got to be like, okay, when I get in, I'm gonna do a couple of razzle dazzles, but I'm gonna get the right man the ball. And now, I mean, shit, that's what a champion do. Yeah, you know but, what I'm saying? But you know what it is. I know what that's it is. That's that Steve Nash air. Uh-huh. And when the boy White Chocolate came in there with all that sauce, uh-huh. he was it was too much drip. Man. They was like, man, you know what? We got to turn the faucet off. Right. So you know they went and had that conversation. You can't be up. You, the boy almost put the glove into retirement. Man, listen here. <laughs> yeah. The boy 
was he was that, what's so funny is that everything that he was doing when he was in sack. Ooh, you were right. Hold but, on. Everything that he was doing when he's in sack, uh, that's what the whole league is doing right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. What would you say? So they have Mario Chalmers. That's the other guy. Oh, guard Chalmers, you, yeah. That's the other guy you were talking about. Rookie. That's what it was, Chalmers. And he was but look, too, yeah. that roster had Dwayne Wade, Udonis Haslam, Shaquille O'Neal, Chris Bosch. No, yeah. Bosch wasn't on that team. Mm -hmm. no. Alonzo Mourning, Jason Williams, Gary Payton, Antonio Walker, James Posey, Michael Doliak. Oh, yeah. Uh, Wayne Simeon, I remember him. <laughs> um, <coughs> Simeon, Shandon, Shandon Wright. Mario Chalmers, mm -hmm. Derek Anderson was on that team. Oh, oh man, Kentucky. Yep. Yeah. Derek Anderson was on that he team. He was the man in oh, Kentucky. Keep asking the Birdman. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Derek no. Anderson, remember yeah, number that's one. That's he was that's signed to no that's limit. That's yeah. That nigga, man. Look at that. He has scored forty in. Hey, he, he <laughs> played for Kentucky. Yeah. Then he played. Then he got drafted by Cleveland. Yeah. Thank he was balling. He was a little baller, nigga. He was. Thank Built like Iverson, they got probably like six one, six two. Mm -hmm. No, he was like six three, six four. Yeah, yeah, yeah that nigga, he was, he was a, a lanky tall nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, that's basketball. What else you got for us on sports? Man, well, we want to talk about man our Super Bowl picks. Oh wait, wait. Okay. Oh man. Oh no. No no no. Go ahead. Who the fuck you got? Ah man 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 man. Put man. a name in a hat. I know, man. <laughs> I know, man. I know. See what, man. man. Well, you know, we, we y'all in the same y'all y'all in the same boat too. I think y'all still just, images. Just later, just later hey. on in the year, nigga. Like, we it, got it, it, all it, the way to the fucking like, for the third hey. time, hey. Yeah, man. Hey, hey. Four who, years, four who remember? Who remembers years. that though? Oh, yeah. Who remembers but that? Three times in a we do. Okay. Uh, you know what? The commentation when they speak. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah, yeah. But but when you just add it's totality. Nobody remembers. This, this nigga yeah. hating already. I'm not. But anyway, yeah, tell yeah, me that sound like <laughs> smell like. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. anyway, I got, I got my money on Kansas City. You got Kansas, Kansas City? City. I got okay. my money on Kansas sure. City. I'm going. Well, you, I'm going past my own. Do you like barbecue from Kansas City? Oh, definitely, they got the best barbecue. Oh well, see now he said that. I'm just well, not because of that though, because I'm, I mean I'm going with the better team. They're the better team. Philadelphia. I don't respect Philadelphia. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't respect no Jalen Hurts. I, I don't feel like he got what it takes wow. to win the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? I don't. I, I don't respect them as a team o overall. No, no, nobody on that team got the juice that I. You know what I mean? Come on. Uh, they, they got Kansas, 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 Kansas City got Travis Kelsey. They got weapons, you know what I mean? But well, they got defense. Philly ain't got no. Philly has Brown. I, I can't. They have it. Smith. They have uh, the, the tight end over there. They got a bunch. They of got like, average. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Average. They bums. got a plethora of running they're, backs they're not over bums, there. Obviously, average bums. They yeah. made it. They, the only reason they beat us is because our quarterback got they hurt. They only lost yeah, one game. You know, you know the obvious, but you don't know lost one game, right? You don't you have know to say the obvious. It's Three. Not I'm going to say it because I, I don't get. I, I don't. Get, I, I give props what props to do, and I, I can't give it to them. Okay. They lost by default. They 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 beat us on by a default. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a default. And I definitely agree. You know what I mean? But we got to go with what's for. We can't look behind us. Thank. We got to see. It's the Super Bowl. They in the Super Bowl, so you can't say that. I mean, a lot of teams could say that they beat them by default. You know what I'm right. saying? They could have won every game by default, but nigga, they won them. Yeah, so the ones that I, was, I was going at it with some dude on Facebook because he's a Philadelphia fan. He gonna tell me, oh, oh man, don't be a sore loser and all this bullshit. Like, come on, man. He's like, nigga, I'm as sore as they come. <laughs> that's damn right. And that's my problem. You can't tell me what to do, nigga. Exactly, yeah. man. That's Shit. My that's how I want to handle my business. Real, nigga. That's how I handle it. Don't be a sore loser, man. Y'all wasn't the better team. We was the better team. Yeah. Just, yeah. we was the better team with the fucking third string quarterback. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Yeah, because we facts. we held him down. We held him down until it was just it, we couldn't do no more. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the game, oh yeah, we are gonna let you score to try to get the ball back. And then we got the quarterback doing dumb shit. But like I said, that's behind us. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what so, I'm saying? So like, I, so I was I wanted to talk about the brothers and so. Yeah, for sure. We talked. You know yeah, we, we talked. We about talked that. about that. Yeah, yeah. We talked about that first before yeah, it happened. First time. Y'all talk about the we talk, brothers. We no, said we didn't talk about that. 
Yeah, yeah. We were talking about, about that on Sunday. Mm -hmm. no, I'm just being yeah, we were. Talking we're about watching the Kelsey brothers, though. Yeah. Go ahead. So it's the tale of two brothers because it's the Kelsey brothers, mm -hmm. which is Travis. Yeah. You know. And the whole line. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And there's the brother brothers. Mahomes and Hurts. Mahomes and Hurts. Yeah. You know. So this will be the Super Bowl of the brothers. Yeah. Which is a good thing and a blessing. Definitely. Because it's a long time coming. Yeah, it is. You know, now we didn't have you know representations. Shout out to Cam, Donovan. You know, what I'm that's saying? right. They had Donovan Doug McDonald. Williams. Don't forget yeah. about Donovan yeah. McNabb. Doug the Williams. The last time they made it, the last Sean time they made the Super Bowl was Donovan Doug McNabb. Doug Stop lying, man. man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What? They don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> the last time they made a Super Bowl, they had Donovan McNabb. Stop. 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 I'm gonna edit that. The last time, they just the won last time they had with Nick Foles. What are you talking about? They won with Nick Foles. Oh, right. Okay. Oh. Ah. They won with that ball. He's another ball. But they, they won that by default also. Oh, so, so that that's something I definitely wanted to just uh I mean and I know y'all already great. probably but anyway, yeah. So, so you know, so who do you side with? It doesn't wah, matter. Wah, wah. As far as for us brothers, we all coming out on top at the end of the day when it comes to the Super Bowl, man. Definitely. Yeah. Russell never played Cam in the Super Bowl? No. No. That would have been he a dope played, but this is Russ, this is the Russ first time ever. Can't can play Peyton. Can't play Peyton. That would have been, been, been a Brock dope Super Bowl. Yeah, but that would have been a dope Super Bowl. Too. It would have. This is the first time two black quarterbacks is going so against each other. Brother. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Uh, I think yesterday, and I was like, damn, out of all of these black quarterbacks, none of them made it to go play against each other. And that's crazy. It's only been a handful. That's crazy. You but know, you they know, only let certain ones of us eat. But you got to think yeah. about it. The better ones be all in the AFC one year. One is or, like or, oh, God damn. or all in the NFC. They're never, like, balanced. So this is, like, the first time it's balanced. And this is, this is like, okay, who did, who, did, who did Kansas City play? They play the Super Bowl. Uh, no, uh, they AFC play Cincinnati, Cincinnati right? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Okay, so Cincinnati was the third team. Which had Cincinnati had beat them three times in a row, too. Yeah, but I'm saying they was the third seeded team. Mm -hmm. So this was like almost the perfect bracket. So it was, well, it was one versus two versus one versus three. It was You know what I'm saying? Bracket. It should have been one versus two, but they right. could have been, they would have been number two if DeMar Hamlin wouldn't have had the heart attack exactly. because they were going to beat. But, they were going to beat Buffalo that game. That's what I was game. saying. That's why it was still kind of low-key, the perfect match. Yeah, exactly. But just the numbers-wise. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? So it's one verse one. You know what I'm saying? I got a friend. You know what I'm saying? She's a uh, fucking Kansas City diehard fan. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with her side, and I'm going to say, you know, Kansas City should win. But for my kid's uncle, rest in peace, he was a Philly oh, we, fan we going with the Philly. for Ant Dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So... I wouldn't mind yeah. seeing, you know, Philly win it. You know what I'm saying? But let's just keep it big 100. up the ant. My, my apologies. Let's just keep it 100. What wins Super Bowls and games, period? Defense. And Philly, Philly got the better defense. Philly has the better defense. They definitely point, do. Point, I period. didn't realize they, they had, you like, slay. My arms is already banged up. He banged up, but he got two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Don't need to cut it out right now. He got two weeks. They talking about it, boys. Even with cut the it two out. weeks, that boy had a high ankle sprain. Mm -hmm. Hey, tell him, Broski, you don't walk away from a high ankle sprain, Zach, right? You just don't walk away from that, right? Thank you. You're not just going to walk away from that. Okay. He's, he's, right now. Now. Yeah, no, they going to give him the shit. Oh, that, nigga, got the shit. that nigga played and he's beat been Cincinnati. Been shit. He played and beat Cincinnati. So, you know, what I can say is this, like, okay, we say Philly got the better defense and all this, right? But Kansas City is always there, nigga. Yeah. So their defense is there, they nigga. Point. It's just underrated, nigga. You feel me? It's just underrated. Well, we can't say them niggas ain't got no defense. <laughs> they show up when I mean, it's necessary. You know what I'm saying? But, but Man, and Spagnola, they got some hitters on their defense. Steve Spagnuolo's defenses always show up late in the season. Hence, the Giants. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And how yeah. they were able to win the little Super Bowls and whatnot. That right. was that Steve Spagnuolo. Wasn't team. Spagnuolo, wasn't he on now, the Rams? Yo. Wasn't he on the Rams when he they was, won the he, Super Bowl? He, thank you. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So he so, had a and, and, bowl and they well. lost, and they won that Super Bowl having been outscored, had the most points scored of them as far as defensively Ooh, the, Rams, the whole year, and they still won the Super Bowl. Damn, 
But the, the, the thing Look, is... Paul George, zero it's points. It's all about showing up, like you said, cousin. It's all about showing up. Zero yeah, points, the white when Y'all about to lose. When they count. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So the problem and the issue is... I just think, at the end of the day, Philly got stronger D. And um, when you got more bodies on that side, uh-huh. when, when, you, when you go 11 to 11, when you compare the 11 that's on Kansas City side versus the 11 that's on Philly side defensively, uh-huh. I mean, Andy Reid, bro. Right. How many times did he go to the NFC Championship when he was in Philadelphia consistently with McNabb? They was going. Remember, they was. It, it seemed was four like, times. It, it seemed was just like, like they, Buffalo. It seemed like it was ten years in a row. They yeah. was. You know what I'm saying? It was like Buffalo, but when he got that, that. I mean, Mahomes is special. Mahomes it's is combo. special. He is very. You special. know what I'm saying? He's special. And so, he's with Reed. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's because a nice you got to think about it. He was even making it with the boy that played for us. Thank you. With Alex Smith. Yeah. So, he, you know, he'll get you there. He will. But you got to win it yourself. You got to win it yourself. Yeah. You know Doug what I'm saying? Peterson, and, that boy and you know what's fucked up? a lot of different folks. Jacksonville yeah. is coming, nigga. They're cut, oh, they're coming. gonna be a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jackson, sure. Why? Because you know what he's gonna do? All he's gonna put the right pieces in place on the mm-hmm. defense, but the, and people no, want to play for him. Thing, but that's the yeah. thing; they already got the young pieces. They do, but they need the D they need, right now. They just need a couple more pieces. But they, hey, listen, they just need more seasoning, man. More offensive the, line. They own line is nice too, I, but I'm telling you the the the. The thing it's the with, inexperience. That's why right. That's it's the defense. It's just, they just inexperienced. The inexperience. But they got all yeah. the pieces on defense. Yeah. I agree. They gonna be a real issue. Trust me. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, because that defense is young, if they can keep all them cats together, what they win? It's eight of their last nine games or some shit. To and get there, because, yeah, that's they had because to win every all game them at the youngsters, end. Walker, all them youngsters, mm-hmm. Campbell, and you seem like that defense just progress and get better right. every single week. It was yeah. just like, damn. Okay, like. Okay, bet not start this dude in my fantasy. I was paying attention because I was losing money, but man, for sure. So I think I think we split up here two to two. You know what I'm saying? And as more stuff come out, we are gonna keep giving y'all updates on the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Because next week is press week, and these motherfuckers gonna be having dumbass questions for these niggas. Pro Bowl this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Black football. (laughs) Get ready for it. You watching the game this weekend? Who watching the game? I'm I'm watching it. Yeah, I'm going to record it. Hey, I'm watching it. Man, okay, so you remember when the NFL did the little thing with the flag football semi-pro thing, right? Right. Did I y'all, remember that. Did anybody watch any of them games? That shit was dope. That shit was fire, right? That shit was, was dope. Was flag football. Yeah, now, it was think dope. think about that. You think these guys ain't, the, the, these pros ain't, and but they was already stunning their pads on. Right. You think they not about to stunt with some flags on? Oh, yeah. Right. I agree. And it's the best of the best. Thanks. I agree. I want to say this before we get out, though. So, the WNBA, right? So you know they, you know they trying to be I right know. there with the. Yeah. So they finally got like real free agency going on. Yeah, and they hyped. You it. know what I'm saying? They hyped it up this year. You feel yes, me? Sir. So who was the big free agent? Brianna Stewart. Right. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? So she was over at Seattle. Yeah. And they won the chip, and they won two chips with her coming from Connecticut. Right. Probably the best player in the league. Right, her. Right. You know Candace, what I'm saying? Yeah. Of, yeah. Well, Candace is old, nigga. She knew yeah, she's she's old. Old. She's but, but but she, she was the most. She was the number one. She was the like the number two, two or three yeah. free agent. Yeah. Right? right. So Brianna Stewart, she chose to go to Vegas. Right. I mean, Liberty. excuse me, my bad. She's going to the Liberty. Liberty. New York. Right. Yeah, she's Liberty. going to the Liberty. Yeah. The reason why I said Vegas is because that's where Candace is going. Exactly. So she's going to the Aces and Thank she's you. going to the Liberty. Liberty. So I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas is going to clash in the finals this year. You feel me? Because it's lose. She's fresh off. She's fresh off a championship. Right. You know what I'm saying? Candace Parker's fresh right, off. Right. Went to Chicago to her hometown. And did LeBron. And, and did a it. LeBron. And won, won it. it. And then got up out of there. Yeah. Like, like I won it. this for y'all and now I'm out. I did now what I did and I'm out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Candace, though, I'm going to tell you what's cold. She's a cold commentator. Yo, I mean, she's oh, her and Aguma K. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Together, yeah. they're, 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 they're double. Th- mm-hmm. I, I got you. Yeah. But what they bring to the Stanford game. Stanford and Tennessee. What exactly. they bring to the game exactly. is official. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, they, they got a and future. They, and they know their shit. Yeah, they got a future. And they're going to be here for a while. Yeah. The yeah. two females going to be here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you know why? Men respect them. Yeah. Candace will get out there and bust your ass. Oh, oh yeah. she used to, she, <laughs> if it gets you, used to play yeah. with her brother who played with Toronto. Now. Yeah. Don't be slow down. Uh, yeah. You're stupid. Yeah. Swaggy, you, you know about comes. women's basketball, nigga? You're looking lost. You know about women's basketball? You know who uh, these people are? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know a little bit about it. I heard, I heard the... Uh, you know who you know, Brianna the, Stewart is? I heard she's uh, going to the... Uh, Liberty. Super Bowl for Liberty, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard about it. This is big news in the uh, WNBA. It is. Big talk. Because you very rarely, you very rarely have free agents shift. Yeah. You know, move like yeah. players like that. They usually get the, traded. Right. Yeah. That or yeah. they stay there until you know they retire. They're used up. Yeah. yeah. Well, so what's gonna happen with a girl? The the, uh, uh, the girl that, that Maya. Just, no, the one that just got arrested and came back from Russia. Where no, is she? She's good. They where, don't know. She's, she's a free agent. Where, where is no, she going? She's going to play in Phoenix. Right. She says she wants to stay, stay there, but she's still a free agent. No, she's a free agent? Yeah. yeah. So what that mean? Did they, they have not signed No, they haven't signed her yet. Mm. They haven't extended her. Though. No, they haven't she's, signed she's her yet. She's going somewhere yet. else. I was watching Sports Center today. They said that she might be going somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, because she's a free agent this year. So that means she going to either go to New York Liberty. Thank you. Or the Aces. <laughs> I don't think she's going to go to the Aces because they got too many big people, right? big women. She's probably going to go to New York Liberty. Oh, that will be ugly. That would be super ugly. If, if you notice, we, we, I don't think we talked about this, but on, they were talking about um, the other day, um, Brittany Grinder. Now that she's coming back, they're going to have a different security for her. And that she's she may have to fly private instead of flying like a regular um, like a regular. Is that because she likes the weed? She likes the weed. Yeah, like, <laughs> but no, no, she has to fly because <laughs> just 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 you know the ridicule and people coming after her. Things right. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So they the had to vote that and say that if she gets that treatment, everybody has to get that treatment. Well, well, okay, okay. I gotta say this because I know what you're saying. You heard about but, that? Yeah, but you know who it was. It was Brianna Stewart. Yeah. She the one that said, you know, if we want to be a real big league and we want to be a big deal, we all got to fly our own charter jets. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can't, if we want to be the the brand, we got to be able to be the brand just like, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Just like the NBA. They ain't getting on fucking United Airlines. Southwest, with these regular niggas. American. You know what I'm saying? We got to take a regular flight to go to these planes, to go to these games. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I think they're going to do that with all the players, right. not just her. I think they're going to do it with all the players. Now, if she's on her own, yeah, they, they probably will be like, okay, you need this private jet. Right. You know what I'm saying? But then you got to think about it. Like, okay, if if we regular niggas and if we say, okay, nigga, we're going to fly private over to New York, that's going to cost us about 40000 yeah. We got to spend like 10 racks a piece to right. go to there. So do you think that her by herself is going to be like, okay, I'm going to spend this forty because she only getting 200000 You know what I'm saying? That's She's damn near not. a fifth of her whole right. season. She's not. She ain't going back to Russia. Man. No. That's a <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She's she not ain't going, going to get that mail ticket. She's not going You know anywhere. what I'm saying? That's so right. She got to look for Nike to get her a Jordan deal or whatever. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? Right. What, what she got, listen, yeah. this summer, yeah, what you listen, mm -hmm. this summer, She's gonna have to have a season of her life. Mm -hmm. If she comes back and plays, and, and and she fucking wins it, you know, they can give her whatever she wants because she she'll be the face of the league. Right. If, if she if she start putting down one dunk a game, I promise you, on mama, she'll be on fire. It so was the a women, fight in Cleveland tonight. Hold on, I got to say this while we talking about women's sports. This is some big shit, right? So what's the lady's name? That's the coach of South Carolina. Is that Dawn Staley? Dawn Staley, yeah. Okay, so big up to her. Big up to her. She just got the biggest women's contract as a coach in history. She got like $22 million over seven years. That's the biggest contract. So that shows me that the women are moving ahead in the sports game. You know what I'm saying? It, it always starts somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Colleges, they like, okay, we got to pay this woman. They've been number one for years. Right. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. Winning championships and all that. You know, that was in Tennessee, right? Pat Summit, yes. Right. right. She passed away. Yes. You know right. what I'm saying? Pat Summit. Yeah, she passed mm -hmm. away. She had cancer. You know what I'm saying? But that's just to say that it's going to trickle up. Like, sports trickle up. It don't trickle down. You know what I'm saying? You see all of these 
uh, college rules that go into the fucking college. Remember, it used to be nigga sudden death in yeah, overtime. I agree. Now they like, okay, you get the ball back if they only kick three. Right. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, nigga, they score anything, it's over. It's over. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I want to piggyback on what you said. Yeah. Don Staley has been a dog all her fucking life. She, she has. has. She has. Say what? Yeah. She has. She, 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 she has been the blueprint mm -hmm. for women's basketball. How hard you got to work to stay in the game. Being undersized. Come on now. Yeah. She had yeah. heart. Yeah, for sure. Overcoming I remember, illness. I remember, I remember seeing her play, bro, and like, I remember that first. Um, I remember that first dream team with the women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know Cheryl Swoop, yeah. Cynthia yeah. Cooper, right. her Tina Thompson. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Man, they was for real. They were. Yeah, they was for they real. Was. Yeah. And yeah. Don Staley was the leader. Thank and you know what's funny about all that? Not to be like this world has changed and all that. Right. All the all of them got husbands. Yeah. Oh, Boy yes, hey, but that's and kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank and kids. Yes. But these women today, they feel like to to be that level, they got to have a girlfriend yeah. and they got to be yeah. a man. Yeah. Like, yeah. no, you can still be soft, sensual, and a feminine and a Thank woman. You. you know what I'm saying? You don't have nothing to. Wrong with that. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all letting this society, you know what I'm saying, fuck y'all brains right. up. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be that to be that. Thank you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, right. so you know, that. yeah, I just had to say that. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. Yeah, Appreciate man. Sure. Well, anything else? We're going to uh, we're gonna get out of oh, here. Yes. You know it's what I'm time. saying? We're going to get know. some last words. We're going to start with you, the resident guest, Flossie Bizzle. What the... Flossy Bizzle shirt on. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. We say representation. Yeah. Representation. Yes, sir. Yeah, that black designer. This is included. Uh-huh. Go get you some of that famously broke, man. Get at my boy, Dina Boy Juice, man. We doing big things, man. Hey, man. You know, and some <laughs> of it is do you yell at or don't be? So, with that being said, I say this to say less. Uh -huh. uh, thank y'all, love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for you know, you know, having me on and you know allowing me to voice my opinion on this, man. It's always a pleasure, man. So thank you. No doubt, no doubt, man. We appreciate you talking about that hurt the kid, man, because I didn't even see that angle of it. You know what I'm saying? When I thought about the subject, I didn't, hey, I didn't even see that. You brought some shit to the light on that one. Thank you. You know what I'm sure. saying? For sure. Yeah. Pasadena Sean, it's all the same. Yes, sir. I want to say, man, um, I love y'all, man. We had a beautiful show tonight, man. Um, let's be better, man. Let's be better fathers. Let's be better men. Let's be better friends. Oh, that nigga's a rapper. <laughs> show the rapper. Hey, we didn't show the rapper. Show the rapper. Show the rapper. Swagger is D. Swagger D. Just want to say thank you, everybody, for all the support. You know what I mean? All the followers, subscribers, and everybody that tune in to the, the podcast. Sure. Everybody that supports New Wave Barbershop. You know what I mean? And this transition that we are, we are doing in 2023. Keep on supporting us. You know what I mean? We're going to support y'all as well in this community. You know what I mean? And I want to say happy birthday to my boy, uh, Junior Kev Rogers. It's yes, his yes, birthday. Yes, today yes, today yes, is his yes, birthday. Yes, 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 happy birthday, Kev. Rest in yes, peace. Sir, rest in heaven, man. It's my boy, man. We miss him. For real. Shout out to ET, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to ET. I yeah. love my guy, day yeah. one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Project Baby. Yeah, definitely, E.T., we got to get you on the show. Yeah. We're talking a whole lot of shit Well, E.T., E.T. want us to come to his house, and we're going to do a show at his house. That nigga better bring his ass to I'm me. just saying, he was <laughs> the one that came with that idea who was in transition to go to niggas' houses, and we didn't do it. You feel me? Right. So I think we need to just go ahead and pull up one day. You know what I'm saying? Pull up in your living room, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Clean the couch off, nigga. <laughs> Get your weights out the way. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. For real. Oh, ass nigga. Uh-huh, and put on a big shirt when we come through, yeah. nigga. Right. Put on Yeah, you right. feel me? You over, there, you over there doing burpees and shit. No, nigga. You doing the show. You on the streets now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, man, oh, your last man. words, man. Hey, man, this was a good show, man. A lot of energy, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, my last words is always the same, man. Be better today than you was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, I think what we're getting away from, man, is... Uh, this shit is brought to you by Famously Broke Clothing. You know what I'm saying? Thank famously you. Broke on Instagram. FamouslyBroke.com. This shit is brought to you by New Wave Shop Talk. New Wave Barbershop. You know what I'm saying? So, man, you know what I'm saying? And, man, and we got two hip-hop heads that just came out with albums recently, man. We got Pasadena Sean. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? What's understood. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I mean? And then we got my boy, Slaps by the Pound. You know what I'm saying? Flossy Bizzo. Flossy B. You know what I'm saying? So go stream all of that shit. You my feel me? Hey, man. man. And I want y'all to leave in the comments tonight, who had the freshest yellow shoes? Oh, man. Hold on. They couldn't see all of our shoes. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Hold right. on. Who, 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 had the fresh, who had the freshest kicks on the night? On the rail. <laughs> I know my vote. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, you, nigga, you can't vote for you know yourself. See? I'm not voting for myself, nigga. Okay. I'm voting for one of y'all, but and I ain't gonna say my vote. Shoe game crazy. Shit. And I just Everybody bought some shoes. Shoe to, I just bought some shoes today. I'm gonna bring them out the next episode. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna call those See, the no, purple. We're gonna call those the purple people eaters. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you got the purple yeah. backpacks? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I got yeah, the yeah. patent leathers, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the patent leathers with the ice bottoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I'm gonna go to the back and the front. I'm telling you, because if a nigga really want to go shopping, you go shopping in my closet, man. I'm telling you, oh, I got it. Oh, shit. I yeah. got it. Oh, shit. You can start at the front of mine. Just go to the back of the front. Start at the front of mine, and I'll just go to the back. I heard that. See, I'm shopping on Kmart specials. You feel me? All my shoes is like, you know what I'm saying? Transition from another player to this player. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you what you what saying is you wear hand me down. I wear hand me downs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm po pimping. You know what I'm saying? I'm po pimping out here. Your Thrift store shop. A thrift store shop. A Kmart shop. A, uh, Kmart uh, doesn't exist no more. Look at you. See, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said Montgomery Ward. Oh, uh, that's it. <laughs> J.C. Penney. Hey, hey, I do all of that. I heard that. You know what I'm saying? I heard, I heard. The yak got me back. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, hey, man, thank you, man. This is episode 61, man. Hey, man, for Pasadena Sean, for Flossie B, yeah. for Swaggy D, Dina yeah. Boy Juice, man. Hey, we out of this motherfucker, man. Thank y'all, man. We appreciate y'all. Peace. Peace. Yeah. You're now tuned in to the yeah. number one podcast. I give you a new wave shop talk, shop talk, shop talk. New wave shop talk, new wave, new wave. Got something on your mind? Let's talk about it. Shop talk, shop talk. Leave a comment. We'll talk about it. New wave, new wave. For real, talk about these white women, you know what I'm saying, and these rappers taking up all the good acting jobs. I don't need some of them acting gigs. So all y'all directors, holla at your boy.